In this overview, I'll give you a quick feel for how you can use SciCapture to process material safety data sheets. So MSDSs, as they're referred to, are, uh, are complicated documents that give you an overview of um, uh, hazardous substances. So organizations like hospitals, um, colleges that have uh, chemistry labs, manufacturing organizations that have different chemicals on site, need to maintain these MSDS sheets and have them readily accessible to um, employees, okay, for compliance with OSHA standards. So a lot of times these things will get out of date, they'll be missing, some folks use binders uh, to manage these, so if there's a fire, you can actually lose all your, uh, your MSDSs in a fire. Um, the other challenge is that uh, a lot of these are in paper format, You've also got ones that come in digitally, so it becomes kind of a nightmare for organizations to manage and be able to maintain a database of all these different uh, data sheets. So with SciCapture, uh, there's a couple different things that you can do. Uh, the first one is we can set up an auto process that will actually read these documents. And one of the challenges with the MSDS is, is that although there is a set content, you need to have different sections describing things like the product, uh, identification of hazards, things like that, they all look different. So if I scroll down and you look at these samples that I've downloaded, they're all different. Uh, they're all laid out differently. Some of these PDFs have multiple MSDSs uh, within them, so you need to be able to split them up easily. So where SciCapture comes into play is we can actually copy these and create an auto process. So I can go ahead and paste these into an auto process folder and this could be a shared folder that uh, all the folks that manage these documents have access to. If they receive a new one via email, they can drag and drop it into the queue. It'll go ahead and pick them up and kick off the process. So what does SciCapture do? So if we take a peek here, I already uh, threw um, an initial batch and you can see it, it's picked up that uh, set of documents that I dropped in and it started processing. But before I started the demo, I dropped in a set. It went through, it classified the documents, attempted to extract data. But in this example, in a real world situation, um, there were a couple where it couldn't identify the particular substance, okay? So if I look here, we'll go ahead and uh, we won't have it, it reprocess. But uh, you can see for some particular, it actually uh, split those PDFs into individual MSDSs. In some cases, it actually broke an individual PDF into separate documents so they're easier to manage. And it actually extracted the product. So in this case, we find product name and then pull off. In this case, it's, it's wood dust. But if you notice here in my batch of MSDSs that I'm auto-processing, we did miss a couple. Now, the way the product works, it'll do its best to actually find these, and I actually induce some errors just so I can show you how easy it is if we can't auto-extract. You just hover with the mouse, click on a button, and it auto-populates the field for us. We've also got things like rubber banding, so if I wanted to come in here and uh, rubber band the product name, I could do it, right? And then you can see you can come in and actually fix issues if there's no spaces, but it pulled off sulfuric acid automatically here. So when I click done, I've now checked my data, entered information where I couldn't extract. Now I can actually go into the quality assurance module, manage my documents. I can come through and, and view them. If I needed to split or rearrange pages, I could do that easily in here. I can crop and redact information. And then I can actually view all the data that's been extracted. So you can see here that it's a spreadsheet and I've got a row for each document that I've scanned. And in this example, I'm actually just extracting the product name. I could actually add additional fields if you want to maintain a database of that information like the cast number, uh, maybe you want to extract some other data. You've actually got the ability to even extract paragraphs or whole sections if you'd like that information for your database. Now when I'm done and I've done all my review, I can close my batch and the final steps that happen in the background will actually 
convert these to searchable images. So now you've got a fully searchable PDF document and we can route them to any of the document management systems that we support. And today we support 63 different systems. So for this particular demo, I'm actually going to route them into a SharePoint repository. And I've set up a, a very simple example. In this case, we're actually going to um, rename the file msds and then the product name. Okay. And then we put a product name into a field as well. We've got the person that modified or created it, which is me. Um, and we can add additional fields if you like as well, like the day scanned. Maybe you want um, uh, the particular location. So we can add as many fields as you like. But one thing that I like to point out is if we open this PDF document, what you're going to find now is that this MSDS is full text searchable. So now I've got a fully text searchable PDF. So if I have a safety issue or an audit, I need to search for, let's say, all the, uh, uh, the products that contain sulfuric acid or some other type of uh, poisonous substance. You can go through and do a full text search and bring them up, print them, or have them available online for auditors. Okay, So this is a quick and easy overview just show you how you can manage these MSDSs. Um, doesn't matter what type of organization, it can be customized for all different types of, of things. Okay, so that's a quick overview. If you have any questions, shoot a note to sales at sidegen.com. Thanks.